Hello. So this is now a plan C run. I had a plan A, a plan B, and I'm now up to plan C. Unfortunately, a tree has blown down in the neighborhood and Graham and I have had to start our run from Lockside School. This will be a plan C run. I think we're probably going to run 40 minutes. 20 minutes out past Roy and then 20 minutes back. It is raining a little bit. Not too bad. Just a light drizzle. But there have been some very strong winds. I've locked the bike up somewhere where Graham will see it when he comes in to Lockside Trail. Chris is driving him here. I believe he's bringing Marsh to do some running outside. And then when we get back, they'll go home and I'll cycle off to the store. I'm now looking for a white Mazda. I think this is his car. He's just waiting for the light to change. But there is a white car with its blinkers on. Nope. 
not him. I'm going to put my phone inside my shirt to stay dry. Hello. I'm not sure how well this recording will come out because there'll probably be a fair amount of clothing noise, but that is one of the reasons I put the phone inside my shirt to keep it a little tighter against my body. Another set of lights. So real time is 10.50, I said 11 o'clock, so Chris is probably holding me to that. She is in fact the driver, so she has the ultimate say as to when we get to meet up. Ah, this looks like him. Yep. Hello, Graham. Hello. What is this, Plan C, or is it Plan D now? Right, tell me about it. I think it's Plan C. It's awful. I don't know what they're doing. The power's out or something, isn't it? I heard something on the uh, internet about a tree that blew down, and they had to reroute people onto Greenlee. I said that. That little section of from the Bottle Bank to Sanish Road was closed, but who knows? I said I bet it's a tree. Yeah. About what? What should we say? 20 minutes out, 20 minutes back. 40. All right. Okay. See you later. Thanks, Chris. Say hi to Larry. Larry? She's going, she's going to drop off her. Larry's dad died. Oh, Larry, shoot. Larry and Gail, you know that. The blind guy? No. All right, let's go. No. Larry, yeah. Uh, Mitchell. Chinese. Oh. His wife. Lives out in God over Bay. We, we've been on holiday with them. Is he an expat? Is he a Brit? No. no. He's a Canadian. He's a Canuck. He's a, oh, big Canuck. Montreal he supports. Oh, oh really? Can they, the years, Canadians. Not many long, I hope. Not too long. It, it took me less than I thought to oh, get no. here. I said to Chris, God, I better get going. He said he's off now. <laughs> <laughs> took me about 15 minutes. 
minutes. I was there about nine minutes. Hi. It's all right. Gave me a chance. Hi there. How are you doing? Very well. Good to see you, mate. That's uh, Carl. Carl Ben. He's a harrier. Yeah. His nickname was the Stallion. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> It is a bit funny, isn't it? Yeah. Not too bad, is it? That's a good nickname. The rain is too bad. Oh, the rain. I thought you meant the nickname. No. Sir. Better than being called the weasel or the sloth. Right. A stallion at least sounds impressive. He's quite a runner. Is he? Yeah. Well, he was walking with his wife. How was he? They're both expat Brits. And oh. uh, he has just recently retired. But his line of work was he used to have this big old Bentley. Can you just hang on a minute? I'll throw one on I've got some crap in my bloody shoe. Okay. He uh, used to have this big old Bentley. Yeah. And uh, he used to take tourists on guided tours of Victoria. Yeah, make sure you don't put more crap in. I know. All right, you I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I okay. got you. Right. Got it, got it. That's okay. the first time I've had to help you, you know, balance. That's right. I know. Eh? Come on, you shoelace. That's okay. Just a minute. We'll definitely have a negative split now because oh, coming back, hopefully we won't have to stop again. I know, I've got to find it. Nice now. Oh, hang on, I've got it. You got it? Yeah, there it oh, is. Just my It was but... inside. The lace was inside yes. your shoe. Right. Sorry. I think that's better. Now, which side were we on? Yeah, this. All right. I'll do the other one. Sorry. Oh, that's better. I was right, a couple of bits on the heel top. They don't need to be very big. No, they, they don't. And they, they if they're they sharp, are. they are, yeah. They it? stick right in. You yeah. hope that it moves, but I know. the chances so are it won't move. Sometimes it doesn't move. Oh, it's not going to move this thing. And then it disappears. Oh, God. Little, I think the little bits of uh, pine Grit. needles. Oh, pine needles. Who knows? Oh. Grit. Grit. So we used to have an old Bentley? Yeah. Wow. He used to drive it around town with the tourists. And oh, because I can drive one. Yeah, yeah, he had the old chauffeur's hat the lot. Oh. It was his job. Oh, did he? Yep. Oh, cool. He's been doing it for 20 years. Wow. It was his own business? Yep. What was his name? Carl Ben. Oh, Carl Ben. Not Tony Ben. No. Anthony Wedgwood Ben. I used to go to school with his sons. Oh, did you? Hillary. Oh, right. He's a politician now. With his sons? How? Oh, yeah. You mean school? Yep. Well, how old is he? Hillary must be in, in his 50s now. Late 50s. Carl is what? Carl Ben is 70 odd. Must be. He's older than me. He must be. But Wedgwood Ben, he's dead now, isn't he? Yep. Yeah. Not that long ago. No. He was about 90. He used to wander around the House of Commons because he wouldn't go in the House of Lords. Not like Blunkett. Patronage crap. It's been a while since we've run on Lockside. Hasn't it? Yeah. Just going by the 9K. Right. The yeah, it was missing for a long time, but I think it's back now. You'd normally run this with Alan, right? Yep. Yep. But I couldn't run Thursday, so I haven't run for a week and a half. Okay. I'll, run last I'll go I easy on you. Ran with you. Okay. Because I had a meeting. Oh, God. The host. We've got CFB members, which is good, in Ontario now, for the chapter. 
Let me use our phone like try to do the master phoning because we have the money you see. Well did you have a like a a group chat with them? Yep. There's eight to ten people. How does that work? Yeah you just phone in it's called Acro Voice. Okay. I think it's the show. I'm not sure Carl's but you don't. But how do you know who's talking? Do you have well, to keep you just have to say your name? Introduce yourself. Yep. Each time. We do do a roll call. Yeah. Who's there? And if you want to speak, say your name first. Yep. But then you know. So you say this is Graham. Right. Sure. I did it all the time. Someone forgot. Well. Don't forget to let you know who you are. Yeah. It's always difficult when I'm recording voices. Right. If there's more than two people. Right. It's not just difficult for me. Right. Because I was there at the time. Right. But for anybody exactly. else. The only way around That's it would be to right. have an Englishman, an Irishman, and a, Scotsman. a Scotsman, a Frenchman, a German. Well, that was jokes. If you had a different accent for each right. person, then you would identify them from their voices. Depending on who you were, yeah. you made the joke fit the other two, right? <laughs> oh, God. It's funny. There we go. This is good. This is good. We're just, coming, out. just coming up to Lowbrunner. We're going to another trivia night tonight. Okay. We're just participants. Where are you going? Wonder if you could see me or something. Oh, yeah. But John's running and he said, yeah. But go, sure, count us in. Four o'clock. But they're going to rotate people two at a time from table to table. That's, That's a good an idea. interesting idea. Yeah. True. Good Lord. Yeah, we're in the exposed area here. Right. Oh, it's coming out. You're not too pure, all right? What temperature one? Yeah. It's not bad, is it? I don't have gloves on. Well, it'll be all right in a bit. Thank you. I was communicating with a friend of mine about running in the cold, and she was saying that uh, she ran in the cold once, and. Her hands were so cold, she couldn't even operate her phone. That's, well, that's probably, no, that's good. Tell her that's good. Yeah, well, I said... You don't need to. I said that as runners, we channel all our warm blood to the right. working muscles right. and neglect yeah, sure. the rest. Yeah, but we'll see It's funny, I went to the trouble of measuring our run today. Right. Starting at the bottle bank. All oh, right. Sorry about that. <laughs> never was. Plan C. It was never meant to be today, Carl. No, it wasn't. Isn't that funny? Yeah. We just happened to go by. Just as well, actually. Yeah. Because you'd have been in a bit where we could have found you. Yeah. I you have your phone? Oh yeah, what was the distance? 5.5, I figured. Oh, cool. We would do in 40 minutes. Right. And that's at a pace of Gee. 7 minutes, oh my God. 12 seconds. Based on last no, week. No wind at all. Yeah. How long here? To the left, there's a field of longhorn cattle. Oh, is there? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like, like the Texas, Texas long horn. Yep. Not, not highland cattle. No, no. They're short no. hair. Right. Big, big animals, but with long horns. Sure. Yeah. I think he's raising. I think he's raising them for prime beef. Oh, yeah. He had a herd there last year, and around Christmas, 
they vanished. Oh, did they? Yeah. Sure. Yep. Probably went to the abattoir. Yep. I don't know where they're going after. There's no local. No. They've got to the mainland. Yeah. So we've done 11 minutes. Right. About a quarter of the way. Quarter. That's right. Yep. You're doing the calculations, hi. You're figuring well, out I how far we are. Well, I reckon man. we'll get to the monkey tree. Right. That'd be good. I think we'll we might get to the drinking fountain. To the other side of the, of the bridge. And a bit more. We've got nine minutes. Right. To the first 20. Is that a walker? That was two, two walkers. Oh. Two of them. System. Neil and I doing the McDonald's Monopoly. See if we can win some time. He's so funny. You know they have this Monopoly here? Yeah. Oh yeah. But you buy stuff and you win places. On the Monopoly board? Yeah, well it's for the centennial. No, sorry. What do they call it? 150 years. Not by centennial, what is it? No. Centennial plus 50. Yeah. We've done all the Canadian cities. It'll be a good collector's piece. So you should keep that. We've got a little flimsy piece of paper board. Yeah. So I went downtown on Monday to see Derek. All right. He was volunteering at the mustard seed. Really? Yeah, making up food hampers. All right. I asked him, I said, how do you get one of these food hampers? All right. He said, oh, basically, you just line up. Let me give you one. Yeah, there you go. Well, some of them, what's his name? See, in fact, his Santa's anonymous. Yeah. Help to fill out a bloody form. Well, I think... They might check your credentials right. in case they think you're just a freeloader. Oh, there's plenty of those cars. I know. That's plenty of those. Doesn't matter, the system's totally broken. We shouldn't even need any of these places. No. Really stupid. What is your opinion on guaranteed uh, personal income? Oh, yeah. That's Available for everybody. Yeah, if you live rich and enough. if you live in a country yep. as an official resident, yeah, it is official here. By the way, what? Some people should have a guaranteed somewhere income to live and somewhere to and enough money to live on. I'm feeding them. Yes, they it's, shouldn't have to call it welfare. No, no, that's the I whole thing. On it. Well, you can call it whatever you like, but they need the money. Yeah. And 350, or whatever it was, for 900 before you rent somebody. Oh, yeah. Now this is new. There's a tree right across the trail. Hi. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, it's just gone down. Yep. Really down. We're going to have to crawl under it. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. Just at the foot of the bridge. How big is it? Huge. Really? Yeah. Oh, tree. I'm going to have to do with what the cops do. No, no, it's safe, it is. Hang on. Is it, is it, are you sure it's okay? You feel up where, that's where oh, the branch is. Good Lord. Keep going. You're clear. Good. You can stand up now. <laughs> Lucky you had a guide today. That's right. That's you could have run right into oh, that. Yeah. All right. So now we're on the bridge. Oh, right by the bridge. Yep. You're right. Must That's have blown cool. down in the storm. Oh, Probably last night or early this morning. Could be. We probably weren't running just by. Just Could have come down any time. We'll kill you on that. Yeah. 
Yep. Well, it didn't land right on the ground, so... It was propped up yeah. on the other side. It might have been okay. It's the weight of these things. Now we're on the it's, bridge. The, the weight is like a couple of tons. Still we're on the bridge. We almost had to resort to plan D there. It's probably the trees have all weakened with it being so dry in the summer. Yeah. That's why we've been there for years. Hello, Roy. Mr. Roy. Mr. Roy. Are you a bit cool and wet? It's a farmer. It's a bit cheer, but I'm still looking out here. Brass okay. monkey weather. That's right. Big shivers. Big oh. shivers. We're watching Kira, has got Netflix and we're watching. Oh no, it's on, it's on the channel too, but I get fed up with CBC TV. The ads are far too many. Yep. It's terrible. Every five minutes to six minutes of ads. Just awful. We're getting close, eh? Yep. Time wise, I mean. Time wise, three minutes. Three minutes. That'll take us. Just about to the drinking fountain. Pull it. Yep. Okay. Which is obsolete in this room. Yeah, I think <laughs> they. Wrong with your mouth open, I, think, yeah. <laughs> I think they might have turned it off. Yeah, they do. It would. Too much over on, I think. For f risk of freezing. Yeah. Down. There we go. That's getting a bit worn. It was built up. Yeah. For the last couple of years. Or so. There used to be a real pothole. Oh yeah, it'll eventually be another one. You just pick bits up all the time, especially when it's wet. Yep. Well, the fact that there's two discernible lines right. in the gravel yep. means that the cyclists are moving the gravel around. Yep. Oh God, yeah. They, they them probably more than anything. And they, they tend to out behind yeah, them. Yeah, and they tend to, to stick the side. to their own trail where oh, yeah. it's smoothest. Yep, make grooves. I guess it's a bit like skiing. Yes. You, you, you carve That's a right. line, yeah. and everybody uses it. You got it. Gosh, it's like I've not been out for weeks. Uh, it's the legs that get it. Well, at least my knee's okay. Good. Been bugging me sitting down and getting out of a chair. I think I've got osteophytes. They sort of, you know, <coughs> little bony outgrowth on the edge of my kneecap. Okay. And the dogs sometimes barge into me and it irritates the tracking system. Oh. Up your knee? Yep. Yeah. It, it's just the fact that it. You know, they, they cr the plane and the crash into it. Well, I was planning to cycle back this way. Yeah, you could. I could do, but there's that tree now. Oh, right. <laughs> Good God, you can't go under that with your bike. Probably you could, could, actually. No, no I wouldn't. Wait. It's not worth it. You know how unstable it is. Hopefully we're all right. The big branch is holding it up, is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But probably nobody's reported it yet. People are hoping. Nobody reports it. I don't know if it's traffic lights or cars involved, right? Yeah. That'll be there till the middle of next week. Probably. Okay. It's not a priority. No. Nope. Yeah, really coming down now. Well, that's blowing off the trees. It is, isn't it? Great, bigger okay. drops. There we go. Halfway. I'll take this. Have you got both gloves? Yeah, do you want one? No, no, no. I was just wondering if you'd lost one. No, I've got them. Right, Good. I think, at the moment. Yeah, Let's okay. Them in there. there we go. Your okay. inside, your top sh uh, jacket pocket is open. I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's deadly polish. 
You know those stupid little hanging things? Yeah. It was good like that. Oh. Pulled it off. Years ago. Oh yeah, I'll get it. It's been a good jacket. The zip's gone here, it splits at the bottom all the time. But I still use it. It's comfortable. Yeah. You know when you like something? I'm wearing a jacket today. Yeah, good for you, man. Keep yourself reasonably Hot. warm. Yeah. You didn't see Marketplace last night. No. We're talking about this stupid drink. This super, super uh, food. Oh, it's all, all the crap. I heard something on the radio about that. Yeah, come here. And it's this coconut milk drink. Okay. Coconut, you know, poster. Coconut milk. I drink you better than water. And they said it's nonsense. Yeah. It's full of sugar. Well, apparently, if they call something a superfood, they don't really have to have a scientific analysis. Oh, well, they're saying they said they would draw the fact that it's supposed to be better than water because. They showed it wasn't anywhere different. No. And it actually contains potassium. What you know, I said to Chris, not that you need as a runner. Just go with the treadmill for an hour. It's sodium you need. Yeah, both. That's what you're losing. Sodium and potassium. And that's exactly what the test guy said. Yeah. You don't need potassium. Why don't they, why don't they say that? It's I probably guess, only a trace you need. Probably, yeah. But it's probably what's naturally in the coconut, right? Yeah. That's what it will be, so they can't. Or like really with bananas. Take it out, yeah. They're probably supposed to have, they're supposed to That's have right. a high source of potassium. Yeah, but potassium. You don't really need it. It's sodium. It's, that's what happens to people when they, they die in marathons. Yeah. The, the electrolyte aspect is just salt. Yeah. Sodium. So that their blood starts to retain right. fluid Rather and their brain normal. swells up. Yeah, because instead of osmotic pressure the other way, yeah. the sodium it's is pumping it, it in. It's, it's going in, yes, exactly. Perfect. Well, talking about things medical, I had my oh, yeah, bladder I exam. Go, what was it you had? Ultrasound. Right. Abdominal. Oh, abdominal. Oh. Checking your ale. Checking my bladder. Oh, your bladder? Yeah. yeah. And my prostate. Oh, right. We're going up. Sure. I didn't tell you. Well, the woman who did it, what a did girl it? called, what was her name? Erica. Right. She said, I want you to lie on the bed, pull your Don't shorts jump down. Tree again, I'm just At the end. It. <laughs> yeah, it's just the low hurdle. <laughs> anyway, Erica said, you must be bursting. And I said, what do you mean? She said, I can see your bladder. It's totally distended. Right. Lucky I did you first. She said, otherwise you would have, you, you would have been. Yeah, your prostate blocking it. Well, I asked her oh, specifically my. what she was going to scan. And she said, it's amazing, from the ultrasound, we can check on your liver, your kidneys, right. if there's a fat accumulation, yep. really? your prostate, really? they can see all of that. Wow. She, took about, so she took about 20 really? pictures. Oh, wow. Every time it went, bing. Right. That looks very good. And I had a quick look at so her good. screen. It's so good. Oh, there was see. hundreds of little thumbnail pictures. Was it? Oh, I see. All on the same screen. Yep. Like an album. Right. And that gets sent to right. Snodgrass. Ah. The Snodgrass looks at them. Right. And they, they sometimes read them too for them, you know? Well, they might have so an expert. Like an, an expert you would will. look at them. Yeah, really if there's anything looking... Radiologist and a person that too strange to do. Medical imaging, right. I think right. is the term. That's good, isn't it? Is this the general? No. Oh, you... No, it wasn't even. Was it? It was on Fort Street. Oh. West Coast Medical Imaging. Oh, yeah, yeah.
Right. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to... There's the bar. Okay. You've got to go under that. And it's just one span. Keep that. going, keep going, keep going. You're not clear yet. Yeah. You could stand up now. Okay. You don't stand up for half an hour. <laughs> this is a long tree. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Very good. Yeah, oh, it was okay. Well, after that, she, she relieved me of, well, I relieved myself of my urine. Right. She said, okay, now you can go and pee. She said, try and get rid of as much as you can. As you can. And I said, I shall I sit down or stand up? And she said, whatever's most comfortable yeah, for you. Just well, I've probably drank better. I started off by sitting down. Right. And. Yeah. I went back and she said, nope, she said, there's still a fair amount in there. Really? Go back and try again. Oh my god, you see, that's what you don't want. This is your prostate. Maybe. Oh, sure. I asked her, I said, oh, yeah, yeah. what did my prostate look like? She said, well, it's slightly enlarged, but not very enlarged. Well, yeah, but you see, you don't need it very huge. No. To block your, it depends the shape of it. It can vary in a different shape. Well, I'm pretty sure that when I go back and see Dr. Snodgrass, he's going to say I'm going to recommend Flomax. Correct. He will. He will. It's actually quite good, fellas, because there's no other good effects with it. So you're supposed to take, I found the whole pill at first rather a lot. Yeah. So I bit it in half. You told me not to do that. Because it's a slow release thing. Uh -huh. Yeah. So if you take it early in the morning, by the by night time you're not so bad. First thing will clear it out for you. See what you don't want is constant stuff left in there. Yeah. Because you start developing well, UTI. Kind of crystals. Yeah, and, and you, well, of course, urinary yeah. tract. All of that, but even if you don't. That's more for women. Yeah, it is, but it's also for people that don't drink much. You know, fluid. Yeah. But you well, hear. I must admit, after I went back to pee for the second time, I sat down again because I thought, I'm really going to force it this time. And I sat down and, <laughs> sure enough, I forced out some gas. Right. But no more urine. Really? Oh. So then I stood up. Right, that would be better. And then I got rid of the rest of it. Yeah, because your posture is more. Yeah. For suitable. Yeah. If I remember my anatomy, I think there's like a little pocket yep. at the bottom of the bladder, uh -huh. and the urethra comes up, right. not at the lowest point. Right. It's it's a bit like a U bend. A bit like a yeah. U-bend. Yeah, the women's are quite a bit loud. Yeah. yeah. They don't have as much trouble. And it's because of a prostate. They don't have a prostate. Yeah. Blocking the entrance because it surrounds you. Yeah. You reach it. Right? It puts a stranglehold. That's what it does. Precisely. And you see the format relaxes your sphincter a bit. Okay. So it's not quite as tight. You see what? Because I've had done mine out. Yeah. My sphincter now probably not been working for 10 years. And it has to retrain itself. Okay. The whole system. It's Do you uh, have any urinary incontinence? Not much. No. A bit, yes, at night. I drink too much raw fluid. I, I wear a that. Dribbles. It does. But when I get up and go, there's plenty there. Yeah. So I don't lose much. It just wakes me up. I guess when I'm. Well, some people have exercise induced okay. incontinence. Swimming. Yeah. We don't. See, I'm not bad. I don't have any trouble running. Because my system kind of blocks up a bit. Yep. Just that when it's relaxed at night. Or when you're asleep. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. But you know, it's early days, they told me a year to two years, you'll know by then. To train so your sphincter. Yeah. Okay. 
probably one of Donald Mann's boys. Yeah, just for the little bit. Yeah. They own three farms. Oh, do they? And most of this stretch. This little bit of road is just for them. People bought this stuff years ago. Yeah. They never envisaged what it would be worth. Years, 100 years later. Like 1920. Well, I, Donald Mann was a client of mine. I told you this. Right. He was an amputee. Right. So he missed out on the war. He missed out on signing up as a Canadian. Oh, did he? Yeah. Because he was an amputee then? He was an amputee then. Before. From what? From a childhood Indeed. farming oh. accident. So you have brains, aren't they? The family, I mean. Yeah. He was a kid, he shouldn't have been anywhere near it. That's stupid. But a lot of accidents happen to oh, children in they farms. The families are stupid. They're absolutely dumb. Farming people, the most accident stupidity. Don't get it. You wouldn't do things on the road. You do in a farm. Yeah, enough. Stupid. Enough of those farmers let their kids drive around on their Absolutely. property. Yeah, but not only that. They get in the way. What about those three girls who died? Who were playing in the rape scene. The one. Decide to jump in it. Yeah. And you, 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 you suffocate. Because <laughs> you can't get out. You just go do. It's so slippy. You just, you just disappear. But is there some sort of gas that comes off the rape nope. seat? It's just. Well, no, I think it's just the fact that it's so. Dense. You can't get any purchase. Okay. It's like quicksand. And all three of them. Second one went into hell. Third book. All three died. Because the family is stupid. This is in Alberta, and they wouldn't, they didn't want to file anything just to make the province make farms mandatory that kids under a certain age, I think the eldest was 13 or something, <laughs> right? So bloody stupid. So they lose three girls in one family because the family didn't even remind them not to go anywhere near it. You know, you don't. No supervision, right? Yep. Bloody stupid. People are such fucking idiots. Even when it happens to their family. Yep. They don't want to do anything. It's a bit like the gun laws, right? Well, talking of gun laws, a friend of mine, client, was shot in the neck by his cousin. Yep, they were playing in the farmhouse. Yep. And the parents were getting annoyed. Yep. And they said, why don't you take the guns out oh, God. and shoot some birds? Oh my God, what are you doing? 14, oh. 12. Something stupid. Yeah. Absolutely no supervision, they're idiots. Yeah. And yeah. my friend got a bullet in the neck. Did he die? No. Well, he's done, he's dead now. Is he? Yeah. He, he died age 45, I think. He was 10 years younger than me. Mm -hmm. From what? From pulmonary edema or something. He choked, he got a lung infection and because he didn't have any, <coughs> so to speak, the ability to cough it up, he's lost the muscle in his diaphragm. Yeah. Basically, he was paralyzed from the well, collarbone. Well, his neck, in his neck, is it? Well, his collarbone downwards. He couldn't even scratch his face. Oh, you mean he was a par it was what? Quadriplegic, yep. Oh, from the shooting? From the shooting. Oh, my God. Got his spinal cord. I didn't realize what he Yeah. Oh. Anyway, so I was looking after him amongst six or seven other care workers. And we used to have to feed him bathe him. Right. His biggest treat was eating potato chips with a soup spoon. We used to have to feed him oh potato God. chips by, by the spoonful. Oh and he used to eat peanut butter by the spoonful. And I thought, well, you know, this isn't particularly healthy eating, but poor guy, he had so few pleasures in life. At least we could give him the pleasure of eating. Oh, sure. Peanut butter with oh, a spoon. Of course. 
and potato <laughs> chips. I mean, simple pleasures like that. And from 14 years old. Yep, to 55. Oh paralyzed from the delicious. collarbone downwards. Yep. Oh my God. He had a lot of UTIs. Yeah, of course. He had a lot of uh, sores on his ass, you know, from sitting in the wheelchair all the time. He had a pretty good wheelchair. I must admit, excuse me, it used to tilt back so he could take some of the weight off right. his tailbone. What was his name? Randy. Randall Campheus. Sometimes they came into the hospital because of infection and stuff. Yeah. You wouldn't get to meet someone. I had to go with him for a dental appointment. Had to take him for various blood work. Used to travel on the handy dart with him. Oh, did you? Yeah. Well, that yeah. is where. 10, 12 years ago, he died. No more. Yeah, about 12 years ago. Yeah. But that is where home care is so valuable. Oh, true. Because he would have. Oh. Hated being in an institution. Oh, oh he was in Harvard. He was at home. Yeah. Had his own apartment. Yeah. We had to vacuum for him. Yeah. We had to prepare meals for him. Right. If ever there was a case of somebody who needed right. special care, oh he was it. Absolutely. Yeah. Fucking parents are stupid. All because. Two dumb parents again, huh? The farmer, his yeah, uncle, see? said, go outside, you're making too much yeah, noise. And two kids with two guns. Yeah, no, it's stupid. Of course. Even 19-year-olds do it without thinking. I did it at about 30. When you were blind? Yeah, well, I didn't kill anybody. I hit a door. You hit oh, a door. I didn't know my dad had a power to do. And this gun? Yeah, the BSA. Air rifle. Air rifle. Yeah. He didn't want to catch the gun. He was a very good shot. But they probably wouldn't kill him. No. Just say. Well, I think he did. He told me he did it once. To my mum. He just said, Give him oh, a I'll nasty, just nasty bruise. Just him off. Nasty bruise on the cranium. Oh, Hello. Hello. A little. Morning. Hi. How are you guys? Yeah, very good. Keep it up. You look good. We missed the bus. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's a good one. Seems funny. So we're almost done. We had a joke with it. We had a chance. We had to jump over a tree <laughs> near, the, near the bridge. Oh, well, she'll see it. She'll see it. Oh, wait. Did she go that that's better, the gas is gone. It's just as you finish. Isn't it terrible when you cut that? It's just awful. Still haven't heard the beeps. No. Yeah, well, I thought she might have brought Marsh. No. Because he no. used to exercise your dogs. We went to the park yesterday. Come on with me over here. Let's do it. Looking out. He could have come on this run with us, but he probably well, would have been no, in the bushes. No, he's no, he, he keeps with it very well. He's the best I've ever had. But he just brings along. But it's cyclist. You'd have to keep calling him all the time. Yeah. Well, they're idiots, they don't slow down. And they, they wouldn't know which way he was going to go. But if I put him on, it's all for me to hold. Okay, I can see my bike. Good. I can smell the bar. I can smell the bar. Yeah. And there's the beeps. There we go. Hey, thanks a lot. Oh, it's good. You've been going to the gym. You feel a bit tired? <laughs> no? No. No? 40 minutes and 21 seconds. 
<laughs> I'll measure it. Hey, the Spaniards are really beating up on Catalonia, aren't they? Yeah. Really big time. He's going to he sacked all the officials, and now he's going to elect his own by the time. He's basically just slapping them on the knuckles. Oh, big time. Oh, yeah. yeah. But more yeah. like across the year. <laughs> well, it's like it's pretty... they've never really forgiven Barcelona for the... No. During the Civil War, they were the strongest oh, were they? opponents of Franco. Oh, well, no wonder. Good for them. Yeah. They've um, always had this Bolshe yep. well, no, uh, independence. Good. That was good. That was what, what's his name helped them there? George Orwell. Was yep. He, was in all that. But funnily enough, he yeah. said that he went there as a communist. Yes, he did. Yeah. But they yeah. had a split. Yes. The Republicans split oh, yeah, up from yeah, yeah. communists from nationalists. Yeah. He was a bit disillusioned by that. Okay, there's Chris. So she, started it. she started the car already. Oh. Hang on, she hasn't given you much room. There's the side of the car. Cheers, thanks, Carl. Hang on. I got it. There is a verge of cement just behind you. That's it. This is where it's our there's a big massive tree there, Chris. We had to vault over it. Yeah, no, there was. We no kidding. Vault. We went under it. We but there was a tree. It. We couldn't get away from yelling. trees today. Oh, that was good. Wow. people went by. So All right. Quite... See you. Thanks a lot, Carl. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. <coughs> okay, so that's the run done. This, once again, will have to be labeled explicit. Whenever I run with Graham, he always drops the F-bomb. Now I get to put on my rain gear. So with the shoe incident at the beginning and the tree incident twice, we did have actually pretty much an even split. So this is the running jackal saying bye-bye from Lockside School.